The women wear dresses and hats. The men, some of them, seersucker suits. I just like how it's nice and light and classy looking, and uh, I don't know how it became a tradition, but I certainly like it. Is it going to be classy looking at, say, 4 o'clock? Absolutely not. <laughs> seersucker fans weren't the only men wearing white suits. You know, anybody can wear a suit. May as well, may as well pour it on and, and wear the uniform. So we decided to, to get dressed up today and... Uh, sort of your version of a seersucker. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, it was easy. Veteran derby goers know in one day they can experience the best and worst of times. The best thing this year is definitely our seats and the parking. We got hooked up with a great parking pass. And the worst thing is how much we're going to pay our sitter. First, you've got to pay to get in. This year, for the first time since 9-11, derby goers could bring a cooler, as long as it doesn't contain, for example, the strongest part of a mint julep. Now, seriously, guys, where'd you hide the booze? Seriously, got none, man. We got cigars, though, so that should carry us over for a while. There's no booze here. Some say you really haven't been to the Derby unless you've been in the infield. Almost 40 years ago, Louisville native Hunter S. Thompson wrote an article entitled, The Kentucky Derby is Decadent and Depraved. Not much has changed. This Wisconsin man brought plenty of beads, which he planned to exchange for. Good moment of uh, companionship, let's say. Two Hoosiers brought blonde wigs, which they planned on wearing. Most of the day, on and off. We'll wear it more later on when we're drinking too much. I think if it rains a lot, it would smell like wet dog. It might, I'm not sure. I hope not, but it will probably. <laughs> wet dogs aren't the worst things you'll smell in the infield. But even there, there are random acts of kindness and generosity. How many of those necklaces you hope to have at the end of the day? None. At the 135th Kentucky Derby, John McGarry, ABC 36 News. You